what is going on YouTube well it is happening we've talked about this in the past that GameStop has been closing its doors it's been almost seeming like it's been going out of business and well they finally stepped up and made a change that might be better for the company as we all know it in the past we talked about videos where they have just modern games they barely got anything in the store anymore on top of that they only have like Funko Pops and stuff like that in fact I mean the last thing I ever purchased from GameStop was that Majora's Mask poster behind me that I haven't got up yet and yeah I, I at one point I had two to three four stores in my general area of living and now it's down to basically none and I think I had to drive about an hour and a half to even get to a store and yeah it's basically in the local big city and that's it but they have recently announced that they're going to be converting some stores into strictly retro stores as my understanding and a shout out to David who reached out to me on Instagram and kind of gave me a heads up this is going on because I don't follow this store um, or company and yeah he, he kind of gives me the, the up to date GameStop stuff but we noticed that recently too uh, it was announced that the Game Informer and the, the magazine that they do is also closed down so it was working pretty gloom for GameStop so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the article that was pulled up so this was the official announcement it was on um, Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it and it was also um, on Instagram but it goes, the classics are back. New retro game stores are now spawning near you. Uh, I think that if you go to the actual GameStop store, which I have here, you can actually put in your zip code and everything and then actually find a retro store that's going to be coming near you. Um, and of course, you can always buy, you could always buy retro game stuff on GameStop. You just got to go on here and find it. And I, I, I'm maybe I'll do a video down the road, kind of comparing what their prices are. But honestly, right here, Metro, uh, Metro, wow, well, Metal Gear Solid: The Twin Snakes game for GameCube. That's not a bad price. I think when I bought mine complete, it was about 110 bucks. So if this is just loose, then that's not really that bad a price. And I mean, 44 bucks for Luigi's Mansion. Uh, considering what we've talked in prices before with GameStop that's honestly a little bit better than I thought so let's look more at what the article itself says so obviously we're starting here missing the old days GameStop is traveling back in time with location overhauls that stock retro games instead of the new ones uh, with the digital era coming upon us this is the great move they probably should have done this sooner to get better inventory but yeah, with uh, digital games pretty soon here, how, what is GameStop going to sell? I mean, when you go in there now, I think they are got PS4, you know, Xbox One, and mo more modern games that are coming out for the new consoles. But otherwise, that themselves is all they have. And they're really just focusing on decor and collectibles, which I don't go to GameStop for. So a lot of times I just buy that stuff online. But GameStop has been struggling to keep, yeah, right here, has been struggling to keep up with the evolving video game market as it becomes more digital, digital and less physical. So it's trying a new approach. And like I said a, a little bit ago, we've been talking about this a lot in the past. They need to do something, and this is a great idea that was said by a lot of us people. So it's like maybe should should announce that you know this is what. <laughs> and I don't think they came up. Well, they probably did come up with this themselves, they'll say, but a lot of it has been suggested to them. So the GameStop announced in an X post that it'd be converting some locations to GameStop Retro. I don't know if I like that name. I feel like it came up with something else, but... The overall locations will offer old consoles, discs, cartridges, and accessories dating all the way back to the original NES. Well, that's a way to go with that. Looks like that's all they have in this article itself. Uh... take a step back and but yeah you can see here there are already you know a lot of articles coming up all you gotta do is just put search for the the game store stuff itself on there 
So exactly what does this mean? So I, I've already seen comments. I, I looked at the, the post on Instagram and everything with that. And people are already talking about, you know, oh great, they're gonna give me $3 for my game and my DS game and then turn around and sell it for $200. And all, I don't know. Like I said, it's it's GameStop, guys. We, we all know GameStops, boy. They're basically a, a physical DK oldies. And you got you have to go in expecting that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to go in expecting that they're going to get ripped off. And then you're going to have to pay you know full price for the games themselves. It's, it's not a surprise anymore. But it is kind of nice to see that the possibilities of local game stores opening up again and selling retro in a store setting. Uh, I've talked in the past that I've had a lot of fond memories of GameStop growing up. Besides the one time that they did, you know, when I was a little kid and they did rip me off pretty good for a bunch of PlayStation 1 RPGs and stuff that I brought in and didn't know any better. But that's that was my own damn fault too. So, I mean, it's not like they took advantage of a kid for the most part. They just, you know, well, this is what they give, give you. And I was just a kid like, okay because I just wanted to go buy some games. So I'm glad to see that they're doing something about this, but i have always been an advocate for supporting local businesses when it comes to this. Um, we have a local gaming store here that I love to go to. She gives me a decent price for my trade-ins. And then on top of that, I've been going there for a while now, so I usually get pretty good deals on games that they sell themselves. Um, and I loved, and I love supporting this store more than anything and i wouldn't want to give that up so but a lot of places in the bigger cities don't have that option you either have game stops or you have other little stores that are horrible i know when i was in colorado one time they were wanting ridiculous amounts i think the they had an asking price of 50 dollars for super mario brothers 3 it was just kind of like how the hell are you guys still in business this is ridiculous because i even price charted it when i was there and it was trending for 18 dollars. so i could see charging like 30 dollars or something for it but at the time that was just ridiculously i couldn't i couldn't believe that um but I, i'm glad to kind of see this this is happening because as much as you know i bash gamestop and stuff like i said i do have fond memories of the store and it's always nice to see them yeah, just nice to see them. Um, I want to know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Um, do you guys have any fond memories with GameStop? Have you been suggesting this as much as a lot of us channels have? And I don't. I looked up the store, used that locator and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, me living out in the boonies in Iowa, we don't have any coming to this area. But like I said, my buddy David, who reached out to me on Instagram, he said that. Uh, I think he's gonna have some they're gonna have a store or two opening up in Dallas. And I'm interested to see, you know, if, if this becomes huge and popular, how many stores over time will start opening up more or are converting their normal stores. I doubt you'll see like the little tiny ones they pop up in malls and stuff like that. It'll probably just be their actual stores themselves that they have opened in areas. But it'll be interesting to see guys. Um and on a side note, yes, I, I my face is very red. I know there'll, there'll be some people in the comments being like, "Why is your face so red?" You know, and stuff like that. Yeah, we just got back from a, a football game, and you know, where's where's sunscreen, guys? <laughs> uh, got back from my Iowa Hawkeye game, and I just got completely burnt over the weekend. So it was very fun, um, interesting for the family and everything like that. But it was just like, yeah, it's very. Very noticeable, I'm noticing in the camera right now. So, uh, But yeah, like I said, I, I, below I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that this is going to help GameStop keep themselves going? Uh, do you think that down the road, if this becomes more popular, will they start opening up stores specifically just for retro? And maybe we'll see the, you know, the good old 90s to 2000 game store boom where they were having seemed like stores on every corner. And just absolutely insane to see you guys so with that being said thank you guys so much for the support of the channel and just coming by and hanging out with me um also thank you guys so much for leaving comments i always love to read them and reply to them and with that being said guys as always stay retro my friends and i will see you in the next video you guys have a great week happy labor day